Previously on the Golden Standard. Instead of just trying to, to yeah. hold it up really, hold really it close. Yeah. <laughs> You can also smell this. You can't. That's smell. true. Oh, yes. yeah. I enjoy smelling it. Yeah. I. They I smell don't. good. They smell. Good. <laughs> they do. Mm. Yeah. I smelled it earlier. <laughs> what about uh, your backgrounds as far as writing and, and art? Um, have you always drawn? Have you always written or? Uh, well, gone to school for any of it? Or? I I started by. I, when I read Archie, I used to draw a little fan fiction before I knew what fan fiction was. Before the yeah. internet, people! Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wrote, I, I used to like draw Archie characters and draw my fan fictions because I shipped Betty and Jughead, which is it was awesome when I watched Riverdale. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. I, that was my OTP back when I was like in third grade. But yeah, I would sketch these, I would just draw these comic strips, look yeah. at my Archie comics and put them together how I wanted them for my own stories and that's yeah. sort of where it started. But um, then in high school I got really hardcore into anime and yeah. Japanese cartoons. Because of uh, Pokemon. Because of Pokemon. Yeah. 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 So that then influenced what I was doing and then um, that got me into more anime and more mm -hmm. manga and that got me into more comic books and mm -hmm. um, then when I went to college, I started as an art major, and yeah. I actually had a guidance counselor when I, um, I, I started thinking I would rather do literature, um, even though I loved art and that's my first love. Yeah. I was drawn more to a literature degree, and my art <laughs> guidance counselor said, so you just don't take art that seriously. <laughs> I guess I had to say, I guess, I guess not. But then I thought, you know what? You know, I do take it seriously. I would like to take it more seriously yeah. with the... Uh, with the way I put art, I would like it to tell a story, and I would mm -hmm. like it to have substance, not just artistic technique, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah, should have just asked, but what is art? Well, what yeah, is that's what I should have done. <laughs> yeah. Total beatnik moment. Yeah. But Neil went to school for English also. Yeah, I went to so. for English stuff. I mean, uh, I didn't take it nearly as seriously as he did. Mm -hmm. Um, I went for a semester of film school, like screenwriting yes. and stuff. Okay. Probably learned more there than I did in my, uh, we harken back to that. Yeah, a lot. Like yeah. bachelors. It's, uh, it's it, it ends up. I usually look more toward film for like, I guess when I say story consultant, mm -hmm. you know, it's like I think like uh, really the blockbuster era, like Spielberg stuff, you know. Yeah. Uh, Jurassic Park is a huge one. Always, oh, yeah. 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 Always yeah. Like, yeah. What would Jurassic Park do? Yeah. 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 It's like yeah. oh yeah, a lot of right. yeah. Yes. A lot of yeah. Spielberg. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm gonna drop my face on the floor. <laughs> Right. Something else I wanted to mention about about Don't Fear Dawn. You know, we, we live in a, a time where there's a need for for strong fem female characters. <laughs> we got Wonder Woman coming out. Um, and that's the Golden Age. Uh, yes, that's uh, yeah. It. Yeah, and uh, so uh, in this, Dawn is is a perfect representation. Of that. <laughs> Thank she you for a, saying that. She's a strong female character. Um, what I love about her is, I mean, she's I mean, she's smart. She's intelligent. She, but she has this like sense of wonder, and she's fearless. She's not afraid. Thank you. To like, like if it's something she she doesn't know about, she's like, I'm just gonna jump right into it. Yeah. And and explore it. Um, I think one of my favorite parts is when she comes up on the the the, power, the mill, and she's like, she's like, oh, like this mill is like. I don't, I'm giving anything away. No, you, you can know, keep talking about this, anything. This power mill is like, it's it's busted up and it, it's ruined and everything. And so she wants to fix it. But she gets, it's just like an idea. She's like, oh, I know what I'll do. And then she lists all these <laughs> these things that I can't, that I don't even know how to do. And like, like she's just like, I'm just going to do these things like it's a grocery list, you know. Yeah. But she, she's a very strong character. She's very intelligent. She's she's her own yeah, she, you know she's uh, she's not gonna let anybody own her. She's right. had to be that way. Yeah, she's definitely had to be that way. Uh, so I think that's a dev you've got you've got an awesome female character Thank here. Thank you so much. Uh, definitely for for girls to read and to identify with and to look up Thank to. You. Um, really so I really wanted to mention that part as well. Thank you. The well, name of it, Don't Fear Dawn. Mm -hmm. I remember when he pitched it to me and he said I'd hate it. Yeah. You remember? He did hate it at first, and he's like, I don't get it. And I said... It's clever. It's like the superhero name. Don't yeah. fear Dawn. It's, it's almost like, like she's her... Don't Fear Dawn. Yeah. But also, it's a vampire thing. Yeah. And I got that one. Don't Fear Dawn, the girl... <laughs>
the name, Sunlight, and all that. Yeah. yeah. But I was saying, like, she's a fearless character. I think it should be the Don't Fear Fearless Dawn, because she's so oh, fearless. Oh, cool. I could have been up well, could have gone with. But. Ironically, there's a lot of panels of her screaming and running. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. it's, it's never to she run her away. Yeah. yeah. She definitely just screams think, at him. And yeah. I, I heard one time the definition of courage is not to be... You know, fearless, but it's to be afraid and to still do it. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. And so that's why I wanted I want to make her human, mm -hmm. so that yeah. you know, even though you see that she's terrified and she's got a lot invested, and she's you know, she mm -hmm. still is like I'm still gonna do it. You know. Yeah. So there's there's also there's this world of monsters. You know, at first oh, yeah. we're introduced to the vampires. Um, we get kind of a glimpse that there are werewolves. There you're your typical classic monsters there, but. I want to talk about the the Jiang if I'm talking the about Jiangxi? that. Right? The Jiangxi? I think it's how it's performed. Yeah, right. um, I had never heard of that yeah. before. So my question is, are there any other, are we going to see any other monsters like the Jiangxi that, that aren't your typical monsters that, that you know, can you, can you tell us what Yeah, I, I can. Oh, yeah. Or, I'll yeah. try to keep it brief. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we do a lot of research in the old legends. Yeah. Thank God for Wikipedia nowadays. Yes. <laughs> The internet, once again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um, we do a lot of research into old stories. And the Jiangxi, for example, they really are like the Asian version of the vampire. Um, but that comes along with a whole different lore around it yeah. about the legend. And there's so much. I mean, some things contradict. Some legends contradict the others. So you can't just take all these legends and mm -hmm. make a creature. So what we've done is we've tried to choose, just like with the vampire and just like with all the monsters that we will see, um, we try to choose things and make in our universe. These are the rules mm -hmm. for this kind yeah. of creature. Yeah, put your so, own spin on it. Yeah, exactly. And in our story, you know, Hostel and Weston, mm -hmm. um, and we see more about this, you know, as it goes goes forward. But they, um, it, this issue, issue five, actually surprised a lot of people because they thought Hostel and Weston were like these, you know, ancient vampires trying to exist, sort of dark mm -hmm. shadows, you know, yeah, trying to yeah. exist in today's world. And then you see in this <laughs> now, you see in New York. It's like, yeah. oh, it's a business, and yeah. we see more of Hostel and Weston in our flashbacks of how they built this business mm -hmm. and how they exist in today's world, and nobody can see them yeah. because um, they've integrated so well. Mm -hmm. But um, they actually spent centuries building this business um, by, and you see this in issue five a little bit, going and finding all of these monsters mm -hmm. who are preying on humans and basically mm -hmm. saying, join or die. Yeah. You know, okay, um, because they're blowing everybody's cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. when you see, and Weston addresses this in his journal entry in the last issue about how he had to, he had no idea the Jiangxi existed yeah. until it started getting in the news, and yeah. he had to go find them. And um, it was an issue of if if people find out that monsters actually exist, we're all in danger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, yeah. so you can either join our organization, or. Yeah. You know, we have to take you out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In fact, their so. their first rule, their first tenant is uh, maintain secrecy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, stay off the radar. Yeah. Oh, with everything we've covered here, is there anything you can tell us about Volume Six? Any any hints? Any uh, anything you can any any little thing? She's working on it for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. at a fevered pace. <laughs> um, but yeah, in this issue, I feel like we finally get to this the substance of the story. It's no longer just setting up. Here's these new characters. Here's the universe. We actually get to start playing in the universe now, um, and we see finally, um, you know, we see in issue one how the barn. There's been a huge yeah, explosion yeah. And, and the storm and everything. Um, we see what happened that night. Mm -hmm. um, what ultimately unfolded. Um, we also see um, a little bit of the not only Dawn and Weston's relationship developing, um, but uh, flashback to. Eleanor and Weston, and yeah. how their relationship was yeah. before, ultimately, obviously, she yeah. ended up taking off with his best friend. Yeah. So, awesome. <laughs> awesome, exclusive sneak peek. Yeah, yeah on, absolutely. The, on the Golden Standard. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, if you yeah. want, I brought my stuff. I can give you a sneak peek. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> so you can get all five issues of Don't Fear Dawn here at the Golden Age. And where can we get more Don't Fear Dawn? I understand there's oh, okay. merchandise. Yes, actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, while I recommend that you come to the Golden Age and this beautiful comic shop, which we are so proud to have in our town, you can also order any of the issues on don'tfeardawn.com. Don'tfeardawn.com. And um, you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and we do have a shop on Zazzle now. You can actually get t-shirts, um, a really cute coffee mug, which I love, um, bumper stickers, things like that. And, um, and we'll be adding to that. Um, just as we go. But yeah, you can find us there. Yeah.
if you're the true collector and you want to keep them bagged and boarded, which I know all, it's with the yeah. format, it's yeah. always tough because yeah. you they're not comic it. size. Yeah. You know, it looks weird because yeah. it still works. Though. Yeah, but <laughs> sure. but you know, buy the come here, buy the one in print. Like even though Chuck has the first edition volume that had sold out long ago of Don't Free Dawn, I suggest you come and get our other editions yeah. of all issues at the Golden Age That's right. in Maryville, yes. Tennessee, and enjoy this amazing comic shop. also want to mention you all are going to be at the Minicon at the library yes. that's next weekend, right? And the Golden Age will be there as well. We'll be there. Uh, you all are going to have a panel. Um, yeah. A question and answer panel. Kind yeah. Of, um, right? It's going to be called a Concept to Comic, mm -hmm. and it's going to cover <laughs> the basics of how to get, how to get started um, and started right, because we mm -hmm. had to do trial and error. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, because so we had no idea. Yeah. So, for aspiring comic artists, uh, I would like to save them some time and um, frustration and give them some bullet points on what helped us when we finally did say, okay, now this is the way we can do it and this is the way we can go forward. Um, it's going to be 11 a.m. at the Minicon at the Blount County Library. Saturday, right? Yes, next Saturday, next Saturday, next Saturday on the 3rd. Hope to see you all there. Uh, this has been another edition of the Golden Standard, the official comic book review series of the Golden Age 1942. Uh, Neil, Robin, thank, thank you all so much thank for coming. Thank you so much. Come, and, uh, come back and, us, and visit Jack. us anytime. You Always. Know, uh, they're, they're become kind of regular guests, you know. You guys, oh. free comic book day. And, uh, well, well, it's a gorgeous yeah. place. Yeah, yeah and, and it's, I, I can't come in without like buying something. I know. Usually, so. <laughs> I'm working here. Like, yeah. oh my God. I get my check and then it's gone because yeah, I'm, it's like, like, yeah. I'm like, Dave, put that back for me. Put that back for me. Put that one. And I go, which one? And I just put it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's bad. It's bad. Oh, that's awesome. If you have any questions for Neil and Robin, be sure to comment below and ask your questions. Let us know what you're reading and let us know if you're reading Don't Fear Dawn. Like I said, it's available at the Golden Age. Hope you guys have a great week. Bye. Bye. See ya. Thank you.